Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be creating this look. I'll be doing this look using all of the products from my collection that I've picked out um, that are underrated and I don't see people talk about it that much. Maybe they are talked about like here and there, um, but not so much. Um, and they do not get the hype and the love that they deserve. Uh, let's get on with the video now. I have already primed, moisturized my uh, skin. Um, I use a lot of products, which is why I did not want to mention that and make it longer. For brows, I'm going to be using this Blue Heaven Brow Perfect Eyebrow Enhancer. Um, this is what it looks like. I've used it quite a few times and I'm going to be using this to fill in my brows. Now, since even though this is like a very very affordable like extremely affordable i don't i haven't seen people talk about it that much and the reason i like this is because it's it is not very pigmented you know so i'm just gonna use this and fill in my brows with this and um this looks very natural if you use this on your brows it's gonna look very natural you know um the uh, there are some eyebrow pencils that are like so pigmented that they look like you just tattooed your brows or something like that but this is very very natural and it matches my eyebrow hair color really well which is why uh, i want to talk about this um now let's move on to eyeshadow i'm gonna just quickly uh, prime my eyes a little bit because we are going to be using some eyeshadow so i'm going to use a concealer and prime my lips for eyeshadow i am going to be taking two eyeshadows today so the first i don't even know like if you've ever seen this eyeshadow but this is by makeup revolution and this is how the palette looks like this is the eyeshadow palette now this is the makeup revolution pretty incredible palette um i got this years and years ago uh, when i used to be a fan of makeup revolution eyeshadows because um they are known for their eyeshadows and this honestly i got it as a free gift but the quality of this eyeshadow palette is so good and i almost forgot about it and it was just lying there so i just thought i'd pick this up because it's actually very good the mattes the shimmers are really good so this has like nine eyeshadows a uh, mix of mattes and shimmers and the shades are also like pretty unique um and they have two highlighter shades now i am not the biggest fan of the highlighters but the shadows i'm going to show you and i'm also going to be using this um pop exo hot mess eyeshadow palette this is how it looks like it's very cute and tiny now this is also again this is like a full on four matte eyeshadow palette and this is really really nice and colorful as you can see i have um, already created a look using this palette and so many of you are asking me for the tutorial and uh, this is the palette that i used um so i think i'm going to go with this first a fluffy brush and i'm going to take this um neutral shade first going on with this palette i am orange um shade and i am do you see the pigment it's so pigmented and it blends so easily i will be using this yellow shade on my lower lash line so i'm just gonna pick this lash line now i'm going on with this very uh, pretty yellow shimmer it's almost like a foil shadow and it's so pigmented you'll see in a minute like can you look at that oh my god this pigment and i'm just using my fingers because i think that's the best way to use these kind of shadows and later on i will use a brush to blend this I also i switched off the light at the back that you were seeing because i felt like um i saw the footage and i felt like it kind of took away the tension palette the mattes are pigmented but it does have some amount of um kickback and fallout um and the shimmers are amazing they are so so amazing i'm gonna show you a swatch of few of the shimmers actually it's, this is the pigment it's so so pigmented and they feel very soft and it feels like butter if a foundation i have two foundations with me if you didn't know already i love mixing my foundations so the first one is the daily life forever 52 um ultra definition liquid 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 foundation this is how it looks like and i have the shade flf 014 
and then the other one of my favorite foundations one of my old favorites foundation is the la gold pro coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation um you're right i love this just because it's illuminating and the shade that i'm in is nude beige these foundations i have seen deeply they still can talk about it i think other than that i have not seen anybody talk that much especially about the forever 52 foundation i got this like 2 3 years back when uh, this brand was like fairly new um and ha i have used it quite a lot it's just that in the middle i got new foundations and then i stopped using this and this is my old love like this foundation is so beautiful um i remember malvika setlani talk about it like years and years back again and but i haven't seen people talk about it like now right now so i'm going to be mixing this two foundation and we're going to do our base So I'm just gonna take like one pump of this, and I'm gonna take one pump of this. One or uh, the nude beige one. This has um slight of. This is more on the neutral side. If you talk about the undertone, this one, however, has uh more. This has more warmer and yellow undertones to it. So I just like to mix this. I have blended the foundation, and you can look how beautiful. I love the dewy finish this gives. Now talking about the formulation and the finish of this. um foundation the forever 52 one is more on the satin finish it's not matte it's not very dewy it's right in between so this will work for everybody and it is quite full coverage the la gold one however is very very dewy i will not recommend this if you have oily skin if you have dry skin you will love this when i mix this two it's like getting the best of both worlds concealer i have the insight um concealer this is the pro This is a palette, and I have used so many concealers from Insight, and I feel like this is the one which is not much talked about. You get a color corrector, you get a peach corrector, orange one, you get a few dark shades for cream contouring if you want, and you can pick your, you can find and pick your concealer shade as well. And I think this is very versatile, and this is just for one eight rupees if I'm not wrong. So I'm gonna pick and mix these two shades. and i love the fact that it's so creamy now the consistency of this concealer is very very creamy and it does a pretty pretty good job and that how blendable this is it's very creamy and blendable the fingers to blend this because i think that's the best way to blend this so yeah this is how the concealer looks i'm going to do a little bit of brightening i feel like that today so for that i'm using this wet and wild concealer concealer this is the wet and wild um photo focus concealer and the shade that i have is is light medium beige now this is a little bit like one shade lighter for me which is why i use it as a highlighting concealer again a very very underrated concealer i feel like wet and wild products in general i don't see people talk about that much again i love the formula of this concealer it's very very nice it's i have used it a lot off camera the formulation the coverage of this is amazing the concealer in place for that i'm using this compact now If you know anything about me I'm not a huge fan of compacts. I prefer loose powders, but this is a compact that I really love and I use this a lot. I've used this a lot off camera to set my concealer. So this is the Auric Beauty Easy Blend Blend Easy Compact and it has a mirror as well and this is what the product looks like. The pigment of this it's so pigmented and it's so smooth. It's so so smooth. I feel like um compact powders are feel a little bit drying on my skin but this one is so smooth and hydrating. I really enjoy using this. So I'm going to take my powder brush and you need very little of this and I'm just going to set my under eyes and I feel like this gives so much coverage as well it adds on to the coverage you know so you can just use it this use this on your entire face and you're going to have that um even skin tone guys i'm picking up the same orange shades that i used from this palette waterline i'm going to smudge it out for mascara i have the kalabar zoom and wush mascara I have I don't know if I've shown this on my channel before but I have used this a lot. Um so this has like two wands. So first you get this bigger wand um for your upper lashes. This is how the mascara looks. And I'm about to fall. I first used this mascara. I honestly didn't like it that much um because I feel like with mascaras you can't tell in the first go 
um so you have to use it like a couple of times to like really judge a mascara let's come to the another wand which this is like the top wand which is more of a thinner wand which is great for your lower one lower lashes I feel like this mascara gives so much volume. It does not give me that much. Let's come back to the face now. So I have my most like favorite bronzer and the only bronzer that I use. So this is the Flower Beauty bronzer. This is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave bronzer. But, um, this I have broken it into two parts. Um, but this is how the texture looks like. It's so beautiful. So it's not a matte bronzer. It's not the bronzer that has a lot of shimmers going on all over. um all throughout the pan but it is in between like a satin bronzer and i love this so much again flower beauty is one such brand i feel like it's so underrated and this does not get the love that it deserves but i'm going to take my bronzer like a fluffy brush like this and swirl it it's so beautiful on the skin and do you see that the warmth that this bronzer has is perfect i feel like whenever i use this i don't feel the need to use like a highlighter because it gives a beautiful sheen and glow please please try out this bronzer if you haven't already like i'm sure you're not going to be disappointed it was very hard for me to pick up blush but i finally picked this one this is the maybelline fit me blush this is what the blush looks like uh, it's a very pretty mauve pink kind of a blush now this is again not a matte matte blush wait let me just apply this this hat does have that some kind of sheen to it so if you don't like blushes with ha which has there some sheen to it maybe you will not like this but they have <clears throat> very pretty shades in this and but i personally like blushes that have sheen or sheen actually this particular shade is so pretty before we move on the highlighter picked up this nyb shine and shimmer highlighter um this is very very smooth you got to feel it it's very very smooth like butter like butter smooth and it's very pigmented it's not at all chalky it's very pigmented it's not shimmery blush and a shimmery bronzer so i'm just going to put whatever is left i'm going to use it on my brow bone let's come to the lips uh, i have i have picked up this on site like a uh, super lip liner i think man this the quality of this is amazing so i'm just going to this needs more hype considering the price this needs so much of love and uh, this is a k beauty um lip crayon in the shade pept beautiful um browny nude color this, i love my inside lipsticks i love my mars lipsticks that i've been using currently but if i had to go back and pick an old favorite and if there's one lipstick that i know like i can tone this is it it's so beautiful the, it's the nude color of the dreams So for gloss, I have the Elf Lip Lacquer. Um, first of all, it's sold out every two minutes. Like I'm not even kidding. But this is the Elf Lip Lacquer. Um, this is how it looks like. And the shade that I have is Fantasy. We are done with today's video. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you found some hidden gems. And if you did, then don't forget to give it a bit of like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you can also hit the notification bell me if you want to see more videos from me. And I do post quite a lot. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So where you wanna go? Let's see it all. Selfies on the gray wall. Maybe the Taj Mahal. Hey, we can stay out late after dark.